Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends, Wooden Railway Adventures, Episode 12, Wilbur, Frank, and the Milk. One morning on the island of Sutter, Wilbur and Frank were sitting in the shed, but it wasn't a very pleasant day. They were arguing. They had to take a milk train to Farmer McCall's farm, and they were arguing over who should take which train. Well, said Wilbur, Wilbur I believe I should take the, Sutter, the Timoth milk tankers. I think it would be fun to pull those, and plus, I would look nice pulling them. Pa, said Frank. Those tankers are heavy, so Top and Matt should let me pull them. Nonsense, said Wilbur. How do you know they're heavy? Because I'm a diesel, and diesels know everything. You should take the soda or dairy cars. Those are for losers. Wilbur was very offended by this, and they continued to argue. Mavis, Henry, and Edward were very annoyed by this. Finally, Henry decided to stop, to stop the conversation. Would you two stop it, he said. You guys are being very annoying. We're sorry, said the engines. Wow, said Mavis, you two are being, you guys are being more annoying than Bill and Ben, and that's on a rare occasion. Being more annoying than Bill and Ben, said Edward. Huh, that must be a record. I think it is, said Mavis. You guys should get, you guys should just get along to your train. You guys are being so troublesome. Okay said Wilbur and Frank, and so they puffed onto the turntable. We're sorry we annoyed you, but the engines in the shed said nothing. We must, have, we must have been so annoying, said Wilbur. They didn't even want to talk to us. Just then, they came out of the shed, and there was Renaeus. Hi, Renaeus, said Wilbur and Frank. Hi, guys, he said. Could you guys keep it down a little bit? You could hear us all the way over here from the shed. Yeah, said Renee, you guys are arguing so loud. You do know that Sir Topham Hatt is playing a special visit, uh, has a special visitor coming to Sodor, and he doesn't want to be stressed out that much. So stop fighting. Okay, they said, and they puffed away. They didn't even think about what was to happen. In the yard, Stepney and Mike had neatly set the train, had neatly shunted the trains, shunted Wilbur and Frank's trains, and they were in, in nice in the sidings. Wilbur puffed in first and claimed the milk tankers first, and Frank coupled to the soda dairy cars. Something's not right, said, said Oliver. You two do look very glum. Well, we're sorry, said, said Wilbur, but, Argo and I, but Frank and I had a little bit of a dis disagreement. A little bit? Huh, it's all your fault. No, it isn't, he sa said Wilbur. I want to take the Timoth milk tankers, and plus, they aren't heavy. Yes, they are, said Frank. They continued to argue, and once again, the engines were very annoyed. You two just stop it, said Oliver. I have to take these eggs to Farmer McCall's farm, too, he said. So I'll meet you there. Goodbye. But wait, said Wilbur. Can you come with us, said Frank. Oh, no, said Oliver. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to be tricked into one of your plans. You two need to solve your own problems. Okay, they said. And Oliver puffed away. See you there. Just as he left the yard, Toad whispered some advice. You two better listen to Mr. Oliver, he said. He, know, he knows what he's talking about. He knows what he's talking about. And he pu and Oliver puffed away. The engine thought about it for a moment, but didn't even get but didn't even consider it. Wilbert puffed out of the yard and up over the bridge. I'm in a hurry, he said. Come catch me if you can, Frank. And Frank raced after him. They raced along, and Wilbur decided to stop for Gordon's Hill to get a good run at it. Why, why do you have to stop, said Frank. We have a deadline. We might be late. That doesn't matter, he said. I'm tired. These tankers are heavy. Oh, so I was right, said Frank. Huh, fancy that. A diesel knowing everything. Harold didn't think this was funny at all, though. Which could you two be just a little louder? We could, said Wilbur. I don't mean it that way. You guys are being so loud, you guys woke me from my nice dream I was having. It was very nice indeed. You two should be more civilized and more mature. We're sorry, said Wilbur. And Wilbur puffed up Gordon's hill. Frank was very annoyed. Hurry up, he said. You're being so slow. Do you need a push because those tankers are so heavy? Oh, here you go then. And he bumped Wil and he bumped Wilbur's train very hard. It was so hard that Wilbur ran down the hill and nearly crashed off the tracks down there. 
Watch yourself, said Thumper. You nearly crashed off the track. It wasn't my fault. It wasn't my fault, said, Wil said Wilbur. Frank pushed me. Well, you are being so slow that you are being very slow, said Frank. I'm sorry, said Wilbur. I didn't know I was being that slow. Just be more mature, you two, and stop fighting. You guys know about the special visitor, so don't make Sir Topham Hat even more ag agitated. Okay, they said, and they puffed away. Just then, the two engines puffed into the station. Then they start arguing again. Just then, Boko puffed up. Could you guys be any louder? You guys are very annoying. You guys are the most annoying engines on the railway. We are, said Wilbert and, Fr said Wilbert and Frank. Yes, yeah, said Boko. The whole island is talking about you and how you guys are so rude. I'm very ashamed to be working on the, on the same railway as you. You guys should become more mature. We're sorry, said the engines. Sorry doesn't cut it, he said. You guys are lucky to have each other. Here's what could have happened. Sir Topham Hat could have put Wilbur in charge of the entire milk train, including the soda dairy cars, and Frank, you could be shunting trucks in the yard. You two don't want that. So how about you use each other to your their, to your advantage? You guys don't fight, what is the main which is the main point here. Anyway, I'm off with my train. Goodbye. And I hope you guys will learn your lesson. And he puffed away. Well, said Frank, we are being very rude and very snotty, said Wilbur. I got an idea, he said. Let's go, let's go all the way with, let's go, let's take our journey without fighting. Okay, said Wilbur and Frank, and they puffed away. And soon they arrived at the docks. When Wilbur, pu Wilbur and Frank puffed up, there were Sir Handel and Peter Sam. Well, said Sir Handel, if it isn't our friend Wilbur. Wow, you look very nice. Pulling that train. Thank you, said Wilbur. And and Frank, you look nice pulling those silver dairy cars. Your gray paint really blends in. Thank you, he said. Wow, you guys aren't fighting at all. And to think, said Peter Sam. We heard a rumor that you two couldn't get along. Huh, silly engines. Goodbye. But the only thing that Wilbur and Frank could do was wink in reply. They knew they, knew they were doing a great job. Just then, they came to the Duke and Duchess's house, and Farmer McColl walked up. Oh, hello, hello, Wilbur and Frank, he said. Hello, Farmer McColl, said Wilbur. What are you doing here? Oh, said Farmer McColl. I used Oliver's eggs to bake a cake for the Duke and Duchess. They're very nice people, you know. Oh, said Wilbur. That's very nice. Yes, and look, you guys delivered the milk. Fantastic. And you guys did in record time. I'm very proud of you. You guys are a great team. And Wilbur... And Wilbur and Frank really do know deep down inside that they are a really great team.